Warning, never connect an automotive battery disconnect switch to the positive terminal of your battery. Why not? Number one, it usually won't fit. And number two, and more importantly, it's not safe. This is a sample of a few popular automotive battery disconnect switches. Some come with installation instructions, some do not. In any case, always connect these disconnect switches to the negative terminal of your battery. Many people don't realize that the terminals of a top post automotive battery are of two different diameters. The negative terminal is about 0.66 inches, while the positive terminal is a larger 0.71 inches. The diameter of all top post disconnect switches are the same size or slightly larger than the 0.66 inches of the negative terminal of the battery. This allows for easy installation onto the battery. As you can see here, the disconnect switch fits snug onto the negative terminal, but will not fit unless you distort the switch when attempting to install it on the, to the positive terminal. The same is true on the battery cable end. This positive battery cable is way too loose of a fit when trying to connect it to the disconnect switch designed for a negative cable. No amount of tightening of the battery cable nut will make this a reliable connection. In regards to side post disconnect switches, although this type of switch can screw onto either the positive or negative battery terminal and either the positive or negative battery cable, always make sure you connect this switch to the negative battery terminal. So why is there a warning mentioned in this video? All battery disconnect switches add additional exposed area to the terminal it is connected to, whether it be a top post or side post disconnect switch. As you can see here with this knife blade type switch, when the switch is closed or open, the exposed metal surfaces can more easily come in contact with other metal parts within the engine compartment. These other metal parts are usually negative grounded, and if the two connect, at the very least you will see a lot of sparks. You might burn up your battery cable, wiring harness, incur bodily injury, or all of the above. I also want to take this opportunity to make a safety announcement. I have seen many YouTube automotive videos in which quote-unquote mechanics carelessly lay their metal tools on top of the battery. Never ever do this. If the tool somehow connects the positive and negative battery terminal, or just the positive terminal while touching a grounded part, you will quickly discover that your tool can make pretty sparks, and might even glow red hot. It can even weld itself to the terminals. So don't do it. For more information about automotive batteries, battery chargers, and float storage chargers, visit my website at batteryfloatchargers.com. Thanks for watching.